Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. Today in the continuation to our series on Spark interview questions, we'll discuss what is pipe function in the Apache Spark system. So guys, let's see what is uh, the pipe method or function in the Apache Spark. Basically, it's another transformation, another function provided in the Spark high level APIs. It allows developer to process RDDs using the external application. You know, it's, this, this is very important. Let's try to understand it. Here, pipe functionality gives you the another handle to process your RDD data using any of the external application, EXEs or any other systems. You know, sometimes in the data analysis, we may need to use the external libraries or EXEs, which may not be written in the Java Scala world. So in such scenarios, we can use pipe function to inject the data into the libraries which are written in another language. Let's take an example. Let's take an example that how we can use pipe function to uh, send RDD data to any of the external systems. Uh, before we move on to the example, let's see a couple of more characteristics of uh, pipe functions. It is an operator which works on top of the RDDs. So it as it sends the RDD data to the external systems, it primarily an API on top of your RDD data abstractions in the Spark world. Also a Spark function can be used to write your RDD data result set as a string to any of the standard outputs like any file system or any third party database systems. Let's take an example. See in this example of pipe function, say first we have created an RDD. In this, uh, the data is a list of uh, integer numbers from one to five. And we created an RDD using SC, which is Spark context. This is just a pseudo code. And then say we create one uh, script in the external system. Let's, let's say we created a simple script, which read this RDD data line by line and prints the output on the console. We just did a echo, echo of the line. Now here, we have used the pipe function. If you see in the step three, what we are doing, the data RDD that we have created in the previous stuff, we have called the pipe function on top of that and passes the script path, which we have created. Obviously it has to be on the same machine we are, because we are trying to read the, uh, uh, this uh, script shell script from the local system, from the relative path. And then we call the collect action on top of this pipe RDD because we need to send the actual underlying data set. So we'll have to call some action. We we'll call collect here. Now, if you will see on the shell console, we'll see each line is printed out there. So what happened here, the data which was kept in the RDD, your uh, integer numbers, one, two, three, four, and five, that RDD data is sent to the external script that script code was printing all the lines and that is what you see on the console. So guys here in this example, we have used the external system as shell script. We can use any other <coughs> available executable. For example, we can, we want to use say Fort, Fortran's mathematical <coughs> program, uh, mathematical uh, functionality program, which gives a lot of APIs to do mathematical functions. Here also, the, here uh, <coughs> in that case also, we can simply create an RDD of the data which you want to say apply mathematical functions of program and send and pipe them to that particular EXE in the Fortran system. So guys, that's it in the uh, in this uh, video about the pipe functionality. Once again, I want to reiterate pipe is just like any other transformations provided on top of RDD. It is primarily meant to send RDD data set to any other external system for execution. In this example, we have taken the shell script and the code in and in the shell script is executed on top of the RDD data. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.